Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Welcome to Southside Boy Style. I'm a happy guy today. I just want to say that I never thought in a million years that I would ever be close enough to even having a thousand subscribers on my YouTube channel. <clears throat> um, when I started doing this, I started it because I just like filming, I like editing, I like putting things out on YouTube that I'm doing with the cars, whatever the case may be. And I originally did it and still will always to continue to do it to sometimes help people if they're having a problem or an issue with their vehicle. And if I can find a remedy to certain situations while well, I put it on YouTube. And I've seen in the past with comments, it's helped a lot of people. And that makes me happy. But with that being said, I am tickled pink, is the expression, uh, to know that right now to this date, I have almost 1,030 subscribers and I am now monetized, which completely blows my brains because I never thought that would ever happen. But I'm so grateful for each and every one of you that subscribed to my channel, that liked my channel, made comments, good or the bad. I take it all, it's okay. And I'm very grateful to each and every one of you. Um, I'm really glad you watched my channel. Um, I do it for entertainment, uh, for fun, and to help people out. And that's what I enjoy doing. Um, one more thing I want to get back at is um, the actual channel. And uh, I've set up a membership only section on the channel. So you guys can get badges and perks. So if you want to sign up for the yearly subscription, which is like, I think, $2.99, you can become a member. You can see upcoming videos before they came out, pictures, events, things that's going to happen on your channel. And I'm constantly working on that to make sure that that's working perfect. So that's out there now. You can actually become a member right now. And uh, I'm still working on that every day to get that perfected. I have my store linked to my YouTube channel. So you can go in, you can check out any of my merchandise that I'm selling. And from hats to shirts to hoodies to mugs, uh, Apple Watch straps, anything. There's so many things I got inside my store. I priced them as cheap as I could that I was allowed to do from the place where I'm purchasing my material so it wouldn't cost as much to you the subscriber i'm making pennies only off of anything and that's just to keep the youtube channel going right now you're looking at me on a new gopro which is the gopro 10 black uh just a little upgrade from my gopro 7 which is what i did most of all my other videos on I used to use my Canon camera on certain videos because my battery used to always die on my other camera. And uh, today you're looking at me with a new one. Uh, so there's a lot of new things coming to the channel. As you guys know, I'm soon going to be working back on the 65 Chevy. Right now I'm working at the 76 Nova. There's always other projects. I have another painting project coming soon. Some more body work coming soon as well. Um, I want to get the 65 Chevy road worthy for the summer. The 76 Nova is almost road worthy right now. It's not a lot of work left to do with that car uh, before paint. And uh, I'm still trying to find a front, front bumper for that one. So guys, I'm in a really good mood today. And I'm completely blown away by the support I'm getting for the channel. Um, I'll never understand why it's just me in a rickety rackety garage that I don't even have concrete on the floor but I guess I do things here that people like to watch and when I went to my my post office today um, there was actually some items there from a subscriber and I'm guessing you guys are noticing that I do collect old signs and you can see around the garage, there's old signs, a lot of places, old license plates. 
Uh, it's just something I like to do. I like to collect Southside Boy style sign, but I like to collect old signs. Any old signs I, I see, I try to collect them because that's what I like to do. So as you're looking around the garage, in a lot of places, there's signs everywhere. And the older the signs, the better. But guys, for me to go to my post office in the morning and to open my mailbox and see that I had a parcel, a package from a subscriber, it completely, I didn't know what to think. I didn't know, I didn't know how to react to that. I was completely blown away and I'm so appreciative. Uh, and to the person that sent me these items I'm about to show you, uh, you know who you are. I don't want to say names over YouTube, but um, I so much greatly appreciate that you took the time and you actually did this and sent me something so I could put in the garage. And rest assured, I'm putting this in the garage so everybody can see this. So as you can see, they sent me an old truck. Um, I'm thinking it's a Ford. I'm thinking that's what I think is I think it's a Ford truck I'm not exactly sure but as you can see it's pretty cool welcome to the garage mechanic on duty 24 hours uh, that's pretty cool I'm so amazed that somebody did that so the person that sent me this I really greatly appreciate it that's amazing that's quite amazing and the same the same gentleman uh, also actually sent me, he sent me two. Also, the same gentleman sent me a second one. So there was two signs. There was the truck, welcome to the garage, mechanic on duty, 24 hours. And there was also this sign that says, don't touch my tools, beware, don't even think about it. So he sent me the two. So it was the two signs that were sent to me. And that's what I received in my post office this morning. And I am so 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 grateful of that um, you know me like everybody else I watch other people's YouTube channels and I see they put their information uh, in them when you're looking at my channel and you see the description you click on more then you see all of their content so I only did what other youtubers did I put my information down in the in that section and put my PO box and address there not my personal address but my PO box and I put that down in the section so people could see it guys I never thought in a million years I never thought somebody would ever consider to send me something and you know the way things are in life now I know things cost money and you know like guys no no one ever has to do that for me but I am so overwhelmed with appreciation for this it's quite amazing and I'll cherish this and you guys are going to see this in the garage before the end of this video you're going to see this hung up somewhere in this garage and it'll always be there so the next thing I want to talk about is what I just touched upon before is projects coming to the garage um, now that I'm monetized I assure every subscriber out there anything any little revenue that comes from YouTube for me will go into this garage into the projects so I can put videos out on YouTube for you and that in turn just betters the channel and makes things I don't know how to say it uh, more viewable decently for you guys as you can see here today here today things are getting better with an upgraded camera system uh, I'm doing this in appreciation for being monetized and that was you guys so this is an appreciation to you guys to give you better video quality for myself to try to do better on the channel give you better content and i guess in a sense cooler things at times so the next project that will be coming here will be i have a high performance fuel pump i purchased from summit racing if you watch a short i did a while ago i want to give a shout out to summit racing as well um, I'm putting a high performance fuel pump inside the 76 Nova. I noticed she's lacking a, a little on her amount of gas flow. Uh, if you guys look back, you'll see the video where I installed the new gas tank and new lines. And, and it, to me, it's still not running right. It's not carburetor. I cleaned the carburetor. And what I determined is it was a fuel pump. So from Summit Racing, I purchased a uh, high performance fuel pump. And you know what, guys? I live on that little island. You guys always hear me say this, okay? 
I live on that little island off the east coast of Canada where it takes things so long to get here. Sometimes it's months and months and that sucks. Sucks for me worse because of a YouTube channel and I'm always trying to bring content out to you guys. Most times I'm working on my own uh, vehicles, which I do have a lot of them here, but I like to bring fresh content as well. So I want to give a big shout out to Summit Racing. Um, I ordered just a fuel pump and what I got when I received it was, uh, which I'm going to put on my 76 Nova by the way, um, they sent me the fuel pump. It came less than two weeks guys. So from Summit Racing in the States, it came to a little island off the east coast of Canada less than two weeks. I was very impressed with that. The price I paid for the fuel pump was amazing. Less than 100 bucks for a high performance fuel pump for a 76 Nova inline 6 250. You almost can't beat that price. Uh, then they sent me a catalog, a, a huge catalog that I could go through, look at parts, check out parts, all those things. I am not being sponsored by anybody. But if there's anybody out there that would like me to sponsor your product, I will do it. And I, guys, you hear this from every YouTuber and I'm sure they do it the same way. I'll always be honest on the reviews I do for anybody. So if any anybody out there wants me to do a review on their product, send me something, I'll do a review. If it's good, I'll say it's good. If I don't feel it's up to status pro, I won't do it. I won't give a good review. <clears throat> If it works good for me and I feel it'll work for my subscribers, I'll give that honest review. So they also gave me Summit Racing stickers, which I'm gonna put on my 76 Nova. When the Nova is painted, I am gonna put the Summit Racing stickers on the car. So you guys will see that on the car as well. Um, that's because I appreciate what they did. Less than two weeks for the delivery. Everything they sent with the delivery, from stickers to catalogs to flyers, I thought it was amazing. <clears throat> you know, you guys in the States got it going on. I'm telling you right now, you guys in the States got it going on. Uh, that's pretty decent. So let's talk about the 65 for a minute. Um, the 65 right now is, is, a, is a struggle for me because <clears throat> it has a three on the tree and it's a 230, it's a 230 turbo, a high performance clutch. Uh, I'm having a problem getting linkage for this car. I've exhausted so much on trying to find the proper linkage for this car. And what my problem is, is from the, from the stick down to the transmission, I have all that. But the linkage that connects the rods to the transmission, I don't have and can't seem to find that. I've searched the internet and I've come up blank. I, I just can't find anything that connects the rods from the shaft down to the transmission. It's little rubber washers, little rubber grommets. Uh, it's, it's just a load of it. <clears throat> I was talking about this for a while. I installed the new universal joint. This is the drive shaft for the 65. So this is the Bel Air drive shaft. And um, <clears throat> I installed a new universal joint. It took me a long time to get this, um, but I got it and I have the new Universal installed. So I'm quite on my way. I'm almost there to get that car drivable again. So if anybody knows where I can get linkage for a 1965 Chevy Bel Air three on the tree transmission, uh, linkage for that, that would be greatly appreciated. Leave me a comment and I would really appreciate that. That's all that's stopping me with that car right now. Uh, the rest of the little bit of bodywork to do on the paint, I could do that in a few days. But I'm going to get the 76 going first because of the linkage issue with the 65. And I'm going to be doing a little paint job on the 2012 Caravan. Let me tell you something, guys. The paint for that van, it's red. It's like a reddish color, reddish, orangish color. And the paint for that van, because the actual paint had a hint of a copper pigment inside, it was so expensive. So I'm in Canada and you know, things are a little bit more expensive here than what they are in the States. Guys, to me, this wall, as you can see right here, this is one US pint. <laughs> I call it a point, uh, 0.473 liters. This guys is only half of a point 
of paint. It was $149. $149 for half a point of paint and that's what I have to do with the caravan. I did some a little touch up bodywork on it around the wheel well and uh, it has to be painted. Uh, actually you know what guys I'm going to show you just that little area right now. So a while back guys I uh, this was really bad. This this was so bad it was completely rusted out. This inner line wasn't here all the way around and um, so I repaired it a few months back I see if something's happened there it's something has hit it or touched it anyways so that's what I bought that half point of paint for I'm gonna tape this off do this and as best as my abilities I'm gonna tape off up here and blend it in I don't let the tape go in flush I bevel the tape and as best I can I'm gonna blend it with the rest of the vehicle so that's up and coming. I'm doing that with my guns in the garage. Then I had to put a clear coat on it and uh, it should be okay. It's okay for this van, 2012. More up and coming videos is I had to do work on this um, 2011 Chippy Equinox. So you guys have seen this car in a lot of videos. A lot of videos you guys have seen this car. Painting videos, repairing brakes. Um, even was had my son, my 14 year old. I was showing him how to do brakes and well technically not show him he's been doing it for a while anyway with me i'm watching him guys and i'm tightening and making sure everything's proper but yeah i have some paint to do on this a little bit of body work some paint you guys all know the 2008 black chevy impala uh, you know what guys uh, i can't really say i have much work to do with this car i she is a little bit starting to rust in a little bit in areas but I'm not really doing any paint work with that car right now so guys I'm gonna leave you guys with this thank you so much from the bottom of my heart to be watching my YouTube channel and to be putting those likes and those comments inside and those reviews I do on certain vehicles I can see it and you guys can go into those uh, vehicle review videos that I put it's helping a lot of people and that is what makes it all worth it for me if i if somebody can figure something out and it's not cost them a lot of money i'm all for that that's why i started the channel to begin with but for people to do things like this for me with these signs and it this may not be a big thing for some people but to me this doesn't happen to me in my life these sort of things doesn't happen for me and to for me to open my mailbox and see that somebody took the time and they did that for me because they watched my channel and they liked it. I so greatly appreciate that. So I'm going to situate this camera. I'm going to put those signs up so that they can be seen all over the garage. I'm going to figure out a place I'm going to put them, which I already know where that's going to be. And I'm going to let you guys watch me do that. So guys, I'm putting this first sign right here. I'm going to put the second sign up right here. So probably a crude way the way I did it, but hey, it's a garage, right? You got to get the signs up some way. And there is the other sign. So thank you very much, I really appreciate it. Don't forget guys, you can leave me a like over right there. And if you want, you can subscribe down right here. And I'll see you on the next one, since that's odd boy style.